Let me tell you something you might not know about the legal requirements for mental capacity of someone making a will. The signer must be at least 18 years of age. That part's easy. It is more difficult to determine if the extremely aged or very, very ill person has the proper mental capacity to make a will at all. If someone's mind is nearly gone or they're really, really ill, it, they may have days or hours during which they have those lucid, clear spells. And during those spells, it is quite acceptable to make a will. The attorney must be present to be sure that the proper legal tests are administered to determine capacity. Here are those tests. Will the maker of the will know the natural objects of his bounty, that is, his family? The will maker must know the nature and extent of the property that he owns. The will maker must understand the nature and the manner of his assets and how they'll be disposed by the estate plan. In other words, the effect of the disposition part of his will. When the, <clears throat> when the attorney is able to determine that the maker of the will understands all these three points, he can certainly draw a will for his client. Also, the seasoned attorney knows that it is best to have law office paralegals present to interview along with the attorney. And hear the senior adult and then document the findings with written memoranda just in case there are ever questions in the future about mental capacity. In nearly 40 years of law practice, I have drawn thousands of effective estate plans. My job is to take care of my clients of all ages and all circumstances. Call me.